we're going to start out by looking at the VIX market. And the reason I want to do that is because we've been talking about that implied volatilities were set up to decline in towards year end or the beginning of this new year and then begin to move up again. We are now moving into a period of the likelihood of elevated implied volatilities. Of course, that says that it's a pretty good possibility that you're going to see um, a decline in the stock market if volatility is going to go up. Remember, implied volatility is a reflection of the demand for puts. When investors want safety, they'll pay more for the insurance and that raises implied volatilities. When investors are secure, they don't buy insurance, therefore the put prices are lower and implied volatilities are lower. Let's take a look here as we look at the VIX and this important time frame that we're in right now. So we have uh, some really excellent look at uh, the cyclical patterns in here. And I wanted to show you what really is important uh, now. There's several things. So these blue lines right over there are showing you when there are three cycles that bottomed. When there are two lines, as you see right over here, that's where two cycles are bottoming. So what happens is, is that you, when you get into the rising phase in implied volatility, the stock market is likely to be moving down. So here you could see uh, that this uh, harmonic family right there was moving on the downside. The intermediate cycle there, clearly a lower low. The same thing right over here and this nested area. This is the daily chart, remember, and this is the weekly chart. Where we are right now is that this is getting ready to bottom and move up in implied volatility. This right over here is getting ready to bottom and then move up the implied volatility. While we were moving down, we got lower and lower lows of implied volatility. Here, what we got in that low, the low was at 1418. Uh, this low in the middle part right over here was at 1611. So this began this upward movement. So in other words, the downward movement that you saw here in applied volatilities and beginning this upward movement. We had a pop up here near 36. Here you have the same thing. The low 1473, the low here 1634. So you have this rising condition in applied volatilities. That says it's pretty likely you're going to get an upward jump right over here sometime in coming days and weeks. So this is only the beginning here on the weekly. This could very well see rising implied volatilities out into March. That would mean you get a lot of choppy situation in here, big jumps, big pullbacks, but in this rising trend of implied volatility, this being the weekly bottoming, this being the daily bottoming at a higher level. And that says beware. Beware that you're going to get a jump in implied volatilities, which means a move to the downside in the stock market.